The Institute for Ethics and Emerging Technologies (IEET) is a technoprogressive think tank that seeks to contribute to understanding of the likely impact of emerging technologies on individuals and societies by promoting and publicizing the work of thinkers who examine the social implications of scientific and technological advance. It was incorporated in the United States in 2004 as a non-profit 501c3 organization by philosopher Nick Bostrom and bioethicist James Hughes. The institute aims to influence the development of public policies that distribute the benefits and reduce the risks of technological change. It has been described as among the more important groups in the transhumanist movement and as being among the transhumanist groups that play a strong role in the academic arena the ieet works with humanity plus also founded and chaired by bostrom and hughes and previously known as the world transhumanist association an international non-governmental organization with a similar mission but with an activist rather than academic approach a number of technoprogressive thinkers are offered honorary positions as ieet fellows Individuals who have accepted such appointments with the IEET support the Institute's mission, but they have expressed a wide range of views about emerging technologies and not all identify themselves as transhumanists. In early October 2012, Chris Notaro became the managing director of the IEET. <laughs> Activities. Topic. Publications The Institute publishes, the Journal of Evolution and Technology JET, a peer-reviewed academic journal. JET was established in 1998 as the Journal of Transhumanism and obtained its current title in 2004. The editor-in-chief is Russell Blackford. It covers futurological research into long-term developments in science, technology, and philosophy that many mainstream journals shun as too speculative, radical, or interdisciplinary. The Institute also maintains a technology and ethics blog that is supported by various writers. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Programs. In 2006, the IEET launched the following activities Securing the Future – Identification and Advocacy for Global Solutions to Threats to the Future of Civilization Rights of the Person – Campaign to Deepen and Broaden the Concept of Human Rights Longer, Better Lives – Case for Longer Healthier Lives – Addressing Objections to Life Extension – Challenge Ageist and Ableist Attitudes that Discourage the Full Utilization of Health Technology Envisioning the Future – Collection of Images of Posthumanity and Nonhuman Intelligence – Positive, Negative and Neutral, e.g., in Science Fiction and Popular Culture – Engagement with Cultural Critics, Artists, Writers, and Filmmakers in Exploring the Lessons to be Derived from These Conferences In late May 2006, the IEET held the Human Enhancement Technologies and Human Rights Conference at the Stanford University Law School in Stanford, California. The IEET along with other progressive organizations hosted a conference in December 2013 at Yale University on giving various species personhood rights. Fellows of the Institute represent the Institute at various conferences and events, including the NASA Institute for Advanced Concepts and the American Association for the Advancement of Science. Reception Wesley J. Smith wrote that the Institute has one of the most active transhumanist websites, and the writers write on the nonsense of uploading minds into computers and fashioning a post-humanity." Smith also criticized the results of the Institute's online poll that indicated the majority of Institute's readers are atheist or agnostic. 
According to Smith, this was evidence that transhumanism is a religion and a desperate attempt to find purpose in a nihilistic and materialistic world. The Institute's advocacy project to raise the status of animals to the legal status of personhood also drew criticism from Smith because he claimed humans are exceptional and raising the status of animals may lower the status of humans. Katerina Felsted and Scott D. Wright wrote that although the IEET considers itself technoprogressive, some of its views can be described as strong transhumanism or a radical version of post aging. And one particular criticism of both moderate and strong transhumanism is that moral arbitrariness undermine both forms of transhumanism. <laughs> 